Today is Sunday, it's the 22nd of September 2024 and uh, it's market day, we're in Sapobla and uh, we haven't specifically come from the, for the market, we've come to visit some friends but uh, added bonus, we get the market day in. Well, we've time we've actually come, it's uh, closing up time so uh, we're not going to get to see very much of the market but th this is very much a rural area and so we get rural things like chicks and rabbits and pigeons and all sorts of livestock. As we uh, drive in through the fields uh, you see where the crops are grown. It is very much a rural area surrounded by quite big farms. But the market's uh, on a Sunday morning and uh, is one of the bigger markets here in Mallorca. It goes all through the streets. Um, unfortunately it's, uh, it's now after one o'clock and so it's closing up time but uh, you might get a little bit of a, a flavour of what there is. Today is uh, also market day in uh, Palmanova, um, a much, much smaller affair uh, than this. So this uh, market now takes up all of the street here and goes right down through to the square. And the bibs and things the children wear in schools, these aprons. These sorts of things, school uniformy sort of things, and lots of the kindergartens here. It's actually been quite a while since we've been to the market in Sao Paulo. We need to perhaps do it a little bit uh, more often. There's actually a weather alert out this weekend and particularly for this area up in the north of the island, um, a bit more towards Arcudia and Poyenza perhaps, um, but for very strong winds and heavy storms. Well, we've got none of that here at the moment. It's a beautiful sunny day, 25, 26 degrees. Very pleasant. We're not very far from Inca, which is a shoe area where they actually make shoe and leather, of course. Our main reason is uh, coming up to Sao Paulo. We've got some friends who we've known on the island for a long, long time, uh, almost as long as we've lived here. And uh, we get together every few months and uh, have lunch. Today's one of those days, so that's why we're up in Sao Paulo. Been here, have we? For a long, long time. Yeah. It's been more often, oh, the market. We did do it once. It's one of the early videos that we did. Oh. We've got a, a little baby here. Say hello to. Well, it was nice to see uh, young Vicente there. I haven't uh, seen him for a while. And it's his parents who have actually come up to see. So uh, we've seen him grow up from a baby to the young man he is, and now he has his own baby. Traditional barber shop. And the 
they are. A usual undergarment shop uh, store. We're just coming up now to uh, the square, which is uh, the main area for the, the market. And all these shops, um, most of them are really small businesses, family owned places. And uh, having the market here gets people to come in and the shops open up especially for that. And you can see it's uh, after one o'clock now and everybody's sitting down having a drink and uh, probably even having some lunch I guess. So this is the sort of part of uh, Mallorca where the, the tourists are very much in the minority and uh, foreigners too. This is the big square. Restaurant here has got a menu. Uh, it includes arrow root, a drink, postre for 18 euros. Actually, seems a bit expensive to me, but I suppose if that's a Sunday, because uh, arrow root is usually a fairly cheap meal. Tables and chairs stacked up here. Chicken man. I thought something smelled good. 11 euros. I need to get some plants. So. Very good market for the flowers. Fruit and veg over there. There's a little bandstand in the middle. And uh, lots of places where you can have a drink on the other side, bars. Pickled onions, it was pickled garlic, as well as all of the olives. Busy in the streets here. 
people queuing up to go into some places. Chicken man up at the top there. I think last time I came to Sapoba, I think I said we probably should come a little bit more often. It's sort of a place that is busy, 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 particularly on a Sunday. I think maybe if you come in the week, it's a much quieter, subdued place. managed to find somewhere for a, a coffee so cheers everyone a very nice coffee it is well Anita couldn't resist buying something and so she's got this uh, um, wonderful Thurian. specimen what's it, what's it eight called? Euros. eight euros what's it called? Anthurium <laughs> I'm sure it's going to look somewhere very nice in our garden. Anyway, we're going to off to our friends now, so thanks very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. So, bye for now. Bye. Bye.